Your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, Tropical Storm Nicole, now a hurricane. The winds are up to 75 miles per hour. We'll show you the latest data in just a second. Some remnant moisture, some rain and a bit of wind from that storm headed our way by the end of the week. It doesn't approach here, obviously, as a hurricane or a tropical storm, but some impacts, at least indirectly, from it. Take a peek outside. Skies are clear. We're dry and obviously cool. Temperatures that are slipping back into the mid and upper 40s. Looking at New Bedford and really a tranquil evening. Uh, temperatures now range from 42, both Coventry and Boroughville to 47 in Providence, uh, New Bedford at 44, Taunton 45. So cool tonight, obviously, it's, it's November nighttime, though probably not as cold as last night. We take a look at our threat tracker, which is low tonight, Thursday. In fact, tomorrow afternoon is beautiful. Even Friday day, the daylight hours of Veterans Day Friday looking OK. It's really Friday night as uh, remnant moisture from Nicole approaching with some rain and wind. There may be some showers very late in the afternoon. I just think that the reservation for stormier weather would be Friday night. When I say stormy, you know, a couple of inches of rain, uh, some wind gusts, 40, 50 miles per hour, and that'll spill over into uh, daybreak on Saturday. In the meantime, skies are clear all across New England. The eastern half of the country is very quiet. So we're looking good now through at least Friday noontime. Nicole, now a hurricane. It's expected to be a Category 1 storm. You can clearly see the swirl over the Bahamas right now. This is Florida. Uh, Cat 1 storm just to the east of, it looks like, uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. Florida. Here's the latest from uh, the Hurricane Center moving west at 12. And now that the winds have gone from 70 to 75, it is a Category 1 hurricane and making landfall late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Remember, Ian, which was a Category 4 hurricane over the summer, was a West Coast landfall. This is an East Coast Florida storm and, and a Cat 1, not a Cat 4 like Ian, but still a dangerous storm. Hurricane warning from just north of Miami, West Palm, Melbourne to Daytona Beach, Florida, and to the north of that is a tropical storm warning. So making landfall overnight tonight around 1 o'clock midnight in the morning and then curling north and east tomorrow evening near the Big Bend of Florida. And then it weakens. It loses its tropical characteristics. It no longer is being called Nicole once we get towards Friday and Saturday, but that remnant moisture will head our way. So let's take a look at the next several days and watch the time bar. Now tomorrow is beautiful, sunny. Temperatures milder in the mid 60s. You see the northern fringes of the clouds from Nicole. And then here we are Friday afternoon. The rain is still well to our west. Here we are 12 noon. Clouds are on the increase, breezy, very mild. Perhaps a late day shower on Friday afternoon, but the heavier rain and wind and thunder reserved for Friday night and the new data coming in. Now this is 8 o'clock in the morning showing a squall line of heavy rain, wind and thunder already offshore by 8 a.m. So some of our guidance is suggesting it may clear out a little sooner on Saturday. Bottom line, I would say a better part of Saturday, especially mid to late morning and afternoon is actually dry and sunny. It's in the pre dawn hours, four or five, six, seven a.m of Saturday of some rain and wind. So with that said, this is the timeline Friday night, very early Saturday morning wind gusts like on the order of 40 to 55 miles per hour, something of that magnitude. There would be isolated power outages. I don't think it's widespread rain uh, heavy at times. Generally one to two inches may cause some localized minor street flooding and any coastal flooding on the south shore Friday night would be minor. Fortunately, some large surf, uh, some rip currents as well. In the meantime, uh, it's Thursday is gorgeous, you know, cool and dry in the morning, heading out to work, kids heading out to school, milder in the afternoon, mid 60s, real nice Veterans Day Friday dry during the day. We're we're bringing some rain and wind Friday night very early on Saturday morning and we're seeing signs of the rain perhaps ending sooner on Saturday. I do expect sunshine at least by 12 noon and then much cooler on Sunday and mainly dry. Just a passing shower Sunday, but kind of a brisk and chilly day on the Sunday. We'll watch Nicole closely again. If you have friends and family in Florida making landfall tonight. All right, Tony, thank you. Coming up.